let your energies flow with the vibratory fields that resonate deep within soul and without fear simply let yourself go only then will you come to know faith 22 races originally colonized the earth the first race being the reptilians from alpha draconis what was the nature of their colony well, they're Hyperborean, basically they're explorers, and uh, they're also genetic engineers. They would just colonize, they would take samples, they would hang a flag and say, this belongs to us, just like we did with the moon, you know, but so we, we weren't the first ones there. Um, they, exactly what, what, what we've done, they were explorers, and they would just go to a place, they would see what was there, they would explore it, if there were minerals that they needed, if there were other life forms, organisms, whatever it was that they needed, they took, and then when it was done, they had enough, they moved on, and just kept exploring and expanding their their realm of exploration or territory. And you said they were dumped here? Originally, uh, right. originally they were. Right. They were dumped in Alpha Draconis. They were left in Alpha Draconis because that particular system offered them the highest probability of survival. And from there, they were able to create craft, space travel. I mean, they're magnificent in what they did, and they're to be commended for what they did. But the fact that they need to control and dominate and manipulate to the degree, sorry, I have a problem with that. And so does half, half of the other of, of the galaxy. Um, that's just the way they are. They're the biggest bully. Nobody can beat them up or wipe them out, so therefore they have no motivation to change. So that's the space they hold. A lot of uh, bullies end up destroying themselves. Well, that's something that may possibly need to happen, we hope soon, or I hope soon. You know, because we need to be free. We need to have our shackles that we put around us let go of so that we can really evolve. And, you know, we have awesome potential. We really do. Uh, we have been, as a race, we have been through so much here. We have so much experiences, you know, and because of our emotions, which is really our strength, which really sets us apart from all the other races out there, even the other human races, you know, we have tremendous capabilities to, to create things. They can weigh up to 1,800 pounds. Uh, they're reptilian. The ones that have stubby tails, if you see one that has no tail, he's, he's of the warrior class or, or the worker class. The longer the tail, the higher their rank. When you see one with long tails, with, with winged appendages, he's considered royalty. Whenever you see one, you ought to just run like hell. You shouldn't approach it, you shouldn't provoke it, just get the hell out of its way, just get out of its way, just run. You know, um, there is a way to kill them. If you can't cut off their head, they have two hearts. There's one here, underneath this armpit, and one here. Or, if you can't get to that area, you need to slow it down, you need to hit it right above its groin area. It has a very large liver. You need to wound it there to slow it down. Um, it is not something where man-to-man -man combat you're going to be able to, to deal with because they apparently have the strength of, of 12, 15 men. They're incredibly quick. They're incredibly psychic. They know what you're going to do before you do it. Um, and, and, you know, if they get here in mass, we got real problems. Real problems. Uh, what do the Andromedans advise human beings to do if they encounter an Alpha Draconid? To, to leave. You leave its space. Get away. To get away. What if they can't? <sighs> then they can't. And if they can't? Uh, they'll usually be killed. Have the Andromedans spoken in any detail about what a human being should do if they are in that position. For karmic purposes, for... Look, that, 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 that's, that's not karmic at all. Or, a lot or, of these, you know, all this metaphysical stuff, or, you know, when you chose to be here, a lot of, the, you know, in some situations that's true. When you're creating your reality and in your space, but when you're being invaded, that's not karma. That's a violation of free will, you know. If your um, free will is being violated, Alex, what should you do? You should, you should ask for help. Okay. Ask for help. Put a call up to God. Put a call up to heaven. Put a call to the Andromedans, the Pleiadians, whomever. Just put a call up and, and 
just and deal with it. You know, I don't know. Um, I mean, that's just the nature of, of, of the beast. They don't like us. We're, we're considered a food source for them. For them. You know, we're a food source for the greys, but in an entirely different way. Have they taught us to be carnivorous through the, the belief systems? Have yep. they taught us to eat meat and eat, eat flesh? Uh huh. Well, it lowers the body's vibration. It lowers the body's vibration. So, okay. if, if our body vibrated at a higher length, we would spiritually be evolving regardless of what our religions were teaching us. And they can't have that. Human beings are abducting the kids and giving them to the grace who in turn give them to the Alpha Draconians. That's right. That's part of the deal. They won't come up as long as we feed them down there. You understand? It's about human beings selling themselves out. The echelon attitude here, the needs of the few outweigh the needs of humanity. And sorry, that just isn't right. You know, but it's going to have to be humanity that's going to rise up and take the stand. You're just going to have to turn off your televisions. They're going to have to get in their car. They're going to have to fire everybody in Washington, D.C. that knows and does nothing. And they're going to have to do something. You know, this apathy's got to end. Otherwise, the way we live is going to end. Period. I mean, that's the bottom line. You know, and I'm not coming from a fear space. I'm really quite angry about the apathy and the fact that, you know, when people give lectures and try to tell this, people want to stand up and fight with them. Look at what's happening around us. The indications are everywhere. Everywhere. The truth is now an obscure thing. You know, the lie is the norm. There's something wrong here. What's wrong with this picture? More of us really need, need to start taking the perspective that what we're doing here isn't right. Um, you know, we, we, we need to get in touch with, with what's out there, um, with just the, the whole idea that, God, how did we get here? What makes me be here? You know, as opposed to going home after work, turning on TV, watching three hours of television, going to bed, getting up the next morning, going to work, and doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, like robots. Throw the televisions away. The cities and, and, and the culture that we're living in now has totally cut us off from the land, from who, what our real essence is, which is nature. have this fucked up situation on earth where truth is no longer the accepted norm. Facts are no longer the accepted norm. It's more about keeping the status quo facilitated and running smooth so that the system of pedophilia, the system of human sacrifice, and not just any kind of human sacrifice, we're talking about children being sacrificed here and all these different things going on on the, on the earth that, that has this planet is so fucked up and you're wondering why it's all fucked up. Well, the truth of the matter is we have non-humans controlling this planet. That's why it's all fucked up.